Hi friends, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My little brother had a baby on Monday morning at like 5 in the morning. So I'm an auntie to three now. This is my first blood related niece or nephew. It is a nephew. I actually went over and put like big balloons with his name in front of the house and put like a little banner on his crib since he won't be sleeping in the crib for a couple months. He'll be in the bassinet next to their bed. And yeah, I'm just so happy. Just such a trip to see my little brother be a dad now. The youngest of us three was the first to have a baby. I also got some PR today that I'm very excited about. I was sent an expendable hose and I've been needing something like this for this house just because I have to kind of like travel across the whole, I almost said parking lot, driveway to get to like the side of the shed and I still, I want to attempt to put some sunflower seeds there even though it's literally mid-July at this point, it's July 12th, also happy birthday, hello Alice, today's her birthday. I feel so bad she texted me earlier and she had texted me first so I was just like responded like normal and then all of a sudden an hour later I looked at the calendar and I was like, it's the 12th. It's Alice's birthday and I was texting her without saying happy birthday like what a jerk but I'm I think I think we would get some sunflowers potentially some late blooms but that's not necessarily a bad thing we just get to enjoy the sunflowers longer but I have an expandable hose I think I'm gonna set it up and see how it goes so this is a hundred feet long once it's all expanded so I guess we'll see oh it came with the nozzle Oh, it's got all the different settings on it. I'll have this link down below. It's available on Amazon, but they reached out and asked if they could send it to me. And I said, I would love that because I will definitely use it, you know? So that is the current situation. So this should be a lot better. Goodbye, old hose. Oh my God, it's so light. Do I want to use their sprayer or my little thing? I guess I'll use mine for now. Oh, nice. It has a little thingy right here if you want to like turn off the water from there oh my god that's great all right i'm like <laughs> i'm kind of scared to turn on is it growing oh yeah it's totally growing i see it it's happening whoa oh my god that's crazy i don't know if i did something wrong but we've got a little bit of an issue it's very, very tangled. Whoa. It's shrinking. Uh, okay. You just gotta do it before you turn it on. Oh, it looks so creepy when it expands. Alright, I'm actually gonna head over to my little brother's house right now and help him take some pictures of baby. Good morning vlog! It is the next day. I feel like I didn't vlog much yesterday because it was a babysitting day and I also, like I was telling you guys, went to take pictures of my nephew. We were talking about croissants in the chat and someone brought up Trader Joe's croissants and I remember that I have chocolate ones in the freezer so I think I'm gonna take those to thaw out. She's supposed to let them thaw out for like eight hours, right? Nine hours! So I wouldn't be able to make them until 10. I'm awake at that hour, so I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I would make them at 10, and then they would be baked and ready for the next morning. They're gonna be huge. Just wait. Most of the tomato, two of the tomato plants are doing, actually that one's not even doing that great. This one is all shriveled up. This one is starting to shrivel up a little. It almost gets like these bubbles on the leaves. This one's starting. I don't know what's happening to them. These ones are okay. You can't really see it from here. Whoa, that was... Should it help? One of them just like never grew anymore. It's like a dark green. I think we just gotta pull it. Do we have enough of the other one? just stayed it honestly like turns dark and then never grew it smells like cucumber though Bad. We got like a single serving of green beans. Oh, let's drop one. 
Wow. As for the zucchini, it looks like we had one grow that didn't get pollinated, perhaps, unless it's still just really young, but the fact that it's yellow, usually they die off when they're yellow. But there's another one growing back here, if you can see that. That one looks green still, and I think that's everything on this one. Anything on this guy? Oh wait, oh, another one in there. See that right there? It's turning yellow though. But I think that sometimes happens in the beginning. We need to get more flowers over here to attract the bees, I think. All of the rain that we've had really just kind of stunted the garden a little bit. Like even all the flowers along the edge are pretty much dead. Like you can see one kind of broken flower right there. And then there's two. I don't know if you can see the orange right there and right there. And that's all there is for flowers left. Maybe I could grab some potted stuff just to kind of throw in here attract the bees and then again I don't know what's going on with the tomatoes it looks like it could be from overwatering. I posted to my story and I know I have a few gardeners that follow me I don't know how well you can see them but we also have a few little mushrooms popping up around the plants you can see one right there I don't know if I should get rid of them or if they're okay you can see another one right there in the center of the screen this is underneath the green bean plants also Brennan's mom invited us to stay for dinner because they're ordering seafood so I got clam cakes and chowder. First time having it this year, I think. Yay! Wait, maybe I should get a thumbnail. That was a lobster. That's great. I think this is gonna be my last attempt at sunflowers. I have this old like seedling tray. And I'm just gonna put soil in these little cells. And just try to plant a bunch. Because all the ones that I planted along the deck, I don't know. I mean, the seeds were a year old. Not like super old, but they were from last season. Like last summer. Only a couple of them popped up. And only one or two of them that did pop up survived. So I'm thinking maybe I start them in the little greenhouse in this. And then I transplant them and see what happens. And I know some will go into like these little smaller holes, but I feel like that's fine. I got plenty of soil, and those are super small anyways. I feel like that worked really, really well. So we're gonna put some seeds in each cell and hope for the best. I'm doing the mammoth sunflowers just because those are the big ones. too intense for it. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I also took all the extra seeds and just sprinkled them over there next to the shed. I don't know if anything will happen, but I'm gonna throw some soil over it and then water it and hope for the best. I've decided I'm gonna actually grab more seeds and throw them down over there before I put the soil over it, just because I have so many. Why not? Okay, let me give you a little update. Over here we have dahlias and wildflowers and then wildflowers back here. Add a little water. There's obviously like grass and weeds in there with them, but that's fine. I feel like these ones are growing faster than the ones back there. And then that wildflower seed that I had thrown over there, I just sprinkled the rest of it over here where those sunflowers didn't pop up. And then I might throw more sunflower seeds down. I don't know. We got a bunch of stuff planted. I'm very, very happy about it. I'm kind of sweaty now. <laughs> What's the t actually? It's. I think we're supposed to get storms tomorrow. My little brother. If you're bored later and want to come hang out with Levi, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> um, I think I will. I have to see him at least once a day. Well, actually, I did see him already this morning. So twice a day. <laughs> it is 8:40 p.m. and it is 76 degrees out. We have a flood watch because it's supposed to, ooh, it's supposed to rain and like thunder and lightning overnight and then rainstorms tomorrow afternoon. Oh my God, wait, I have to make, I have to make those croissants. <gasps> I just, wait, I need to go check on those.
don't know how to tell when they're ready. I'll probably try to wait until 9.30, maybe? I just need some attention. Oh, no, I don't think I showed you the croissants. Also, I went to bed with makeup on. I didn't show you. I didn't show me pulling the croissants out of the oven and trying them. I was just, my nephew lives right next door and I gave two of the croissants to my little brother and his fiance and I was just so excited to go over there and I was like rushing because it was after 10 p.m. and I didn't show you but I have one left. It's supposed to rain all day but also oh my god I think I will be buying these every single time I go to Trader Joe's. They, sorry I'm like not in the frame, they're so good. Mm. I should have warmed it up. It was so good when it was warm last night. Oh my god. Good morning. Actually, I think it's just about afternoon now. Yeah, it is. I didn't really end up vlogging yesterday. Honestly, I had a really bad stomach ache yesterday and vlogging just didn't sound- Oh my god, wait, my camera's fogging up. Vlogging didn't sound like a good time. And then just kind of like did computer work and just easy things yesterday that I could kind of do from the couch. And then I ended up streaming for like four or five hours yesterday. Um, if you don't know, streaming is also like a big part of my job. I've been doing live streaming on Twitch since 2018, over five years now. But we're heading to the garden. And then I also just got a delivery from Cider. I ordered from them for the first time. I'm hoping everything fits because I ordered a two, but then I realized their two is considered an extra small and I'm usually a small, so I'm nervous things aren't gonna fit. But I also got a really cute cat, like Halloween themed blanket, even though it's literally July 15th, but I'm getting Halloween stuff. I don't care. It's gonna be so cute in like a month <laughs> in August on my couch, but we're gonna head to the garden and then I think the grocery store. So maybe I'll pick something up fun that we can cook. Stella, the vlog has missed you. Stella lives with Brendan's other sister who just moved out in like April now. So she's not the garden watch anymore. Look at her tail. All right, it's been like exactly two days later. So I'm very curious how everything's doing. Also, the bubbling on the leaves of the tomatoes is supposedly from all of the just like excess water. Cause not only has it been raining, but like when it rains, I feel like it rains a lot. So it just gets like almost flooded. And then someone else said, and obviously I feel like I have to take everything with a grain of salt and make sure I'm doing my own research. But last year, all the grass was very helpful because I guess the grass and hay kind of like holds on to the water longer. Whereas like this year, it might not be as good for the garden since it has been so, so wet. The soil doesn't even have time to dry out. I don't know. Who's calling me? My little brother. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, just let me know when. All right, the cucumber is getting very tall. Brendan was just standing there and it's as tall as him now. We did our first green bean harvest the other day. See, what's interesting is that like, this tomato plant looks fine. Like this one has zero bubbling. Yeah, that one looks the worst. They're like shriveled up. But a couple of people said, just give it some time and hopefully it'll come back. This one has like a little bit of it happening right here. That one's truly a goner. <laughs> it only has one sucker branch, which doesn't even produce anything. All right, what else? There might be a couple more green beans to grab. The jalapeno plants, jalapeno plants are doing pretty well. Starting to get flowers and little peppers. Oh, where's that banana pepper? This banana pepper is doing, oh wait, this is the one that, I think it has a hole in it. It's being eaten from the inside out. Yep. I don't know if you can see that right there. So I should probably just, pick that off and let the plant put its energy towards these new guys yeah we don't want to eat that that's kind of gross so I'm left-handed but <laughs> all right so we got more green beans over here I can probably pick a couple of these these cucumbers haven't grown much see that one back there I feel like it's maybe a little bit bigger. We got more cucumbers starting on this guy. Oh, there's another. Whoa. 
That spiral there looks so cool. Whoa, it's like perfect. Reminds me of like sacred geometry. Oh my God, it's so cool. I feel like the next time we're here, cause it's gonna rain tomorrow, so we probably won't stop by till Monday again. It's definitely gonna be like past the arch now. Ooh, I definitely just walked through a spider web. Ugh. Might be a little noisy in here because of the AC. I really wanted like a turkey sandwich on a croissant and they didn't have any in the bakery section. So I grabbed this to try. I've been saving this because it has seeds in it and I was gonna replant them, but then I never did. So I feel like I should just toss it. It's a cayenne pepper. Are you guys comfy? Wait, did I show you all my new lace curtains? They're so cute, I love them. This window is like a cat's oasis. <laughs> Every cat's dream, especially because this is the side of the house that just gets sunlight pretty much all day. It's perfect for them, they love it. Aria especially, like lives in here for half the day. <laughs> okay, now we have the dishwasher going too, so the background noise is even bigger, but I'm currently cleaning out the little like pantry item cabinet, just getting rid of like old or expired stuff. And the croissants are done. They're definitely a little small, but I feel like two of them for like a sandwich could totally work. I think I'll still do it, even though it's like four, way past lunchtime, or, or yeah, lunchtime, but so just tidied this little corner as best as I can. I need to get, I still have a red little spoon holder. I need a green one or even like a sunflower one would be cute. Can I like make this area look nicer somehow? We have this like Slytherin mug that helps my <laughs> my uh, laptop charger stay plugged in. Here, I could. I want the wires to be behind this. Give it a little bit of space. What if I did that? I'm gonna wipe back there. You can see some coffee grounds. All right, that's looking a little better. Now, <laughs> to do with this. Well, I mean, you gotta take everything out to be able to clean it, you know? Much better than before. Now I might tackle down here real quick. I have a little gift for my nephew Levi from Brendan's mom, so I think I'm gonna go run that over. And then I'm gonna babysit him for like an hour at eight o'clock, and I think they're gonna bring him and drop him off here, and we'll just hang out and cuddle on the couch. Okay, I'm back. Of course, I had to hang out for a few minutes over there. Okay, I think before I go back into a little bit of cleaning, we're gonna try on the cider stuff. I also ordered a blanket for the fall. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm very excited. It's gonna look so cute on the couch. It has a cute little pumpkin. Oh, I really, okay. Okay, I don't know if anyone else, Brendan and I have both been getting suggested YouTube videos that only have like maybe 100 views. It'll be a channel with like a couple thousand subscribers, sometimes even less than a thousand. And I found a channel the other day that I immediately loved, subscribed. I'll have to put it like on the screen or something. But they had a video and they did something called junk journaling. And it's basically like, kind of like scrapbook journaling, but it's a lot of hanging on to random tags and stuff like that. And I feel like this is the type of thing that would be cute in some junk journaling. I'm curious what it looks like on each side, because the back, it might look, yeah. The, whoa, the back looks trippy though. Oh, this is so cute. It's gonna look so good on the couch. It's kind of hard to show at all. Wait, let me, isn't that just the cutest? The back looks trippy, because it's like inverted. But it's so cute. And then I think I got four dresses and rompers. 
like a variety. So I've got this little like overall type thing. Oh, I really hope this next one fits because it's so cute. But it's this like velvet long, like form-fitting dress. It's very, very long on me. But I just feel like it'll be so cute in the fall. I'm gonna try it all on. I don't know why I'm showing you now. This is like a cute little dress. Might be a little bit short, but we'll see. Oh, I think it's supposed to be an apple because it's called cider. <laughs> that makes sense. But it's orange. It looks like a pumpkin. It also looks like an apple though, now that I'm thinking at it, thinking about it with apple in mind. And then I got this cute little strawberry dress too that has like these tie straps. Oh, I, I, I feel like this is all gonna fit. I need a, all right, let's, I wanna try on the long dress first. I like it a lot. This could literally be like a wedding guest dress. I don't wear my glasses. I don't know what you guys are seeing, to be honest. <laughs> All right, now you can see the full thing. Very cute. I like, my mirror's in the other room, so I went in and Brenton asked if it was for the wedding we're going to next weekend. But I feel like it might be like a little warm for a summer wedding. Oh, but it's so cute. I love it. Oh, I have these like maroon-ish heels that might look good with this. I like it a lot. So this one's cute. It might just be a little bit short. Oh, I definitely need to tighten these. I mean, it's not too short. I feel like I used to wear dresses this length all the time. Very cute pattern. I feel like I could even bring it down a little bit like if I wasn't wearing this bra. Make it a little lower. Let me go look in the mirror in the other room. All right, I had to tighten the straps, so I feel like, I don't know if it's weird that these are just there. I guess you can't really tell. And then I feel like a more cropped shirt would be better, just because I have this tucked in right now that kind of rides up. This is cute. The material is a little bit cheaper than I feel like I was expecting, but at the same time, this was only like $20, so. Let's see the back, this looks just like very simple. It's cute though. That first dress is my favorite though. That one's just... All right, and here's the last one. Very cute. I don't know why, like I used, it feels so short to me, even though I know it's not. Like if this is an average little like mini dress, you know, and not even mini dress, just like short dress, not a long one. I do, I would need probably some help tying the bows because I did them a little too loose, but it's very, very cute. I feel like I'm wearing like nude colored underwear right now. I would definitely have to be careful <laughs> what color I'm wearing, but it's adorable. Perfect little summer dress. All right, overall, very, very happy with my cider purchase. The blanket was $32. I guess it wasn't on sale, but honestly 32 for a nice blanket of that size isn't bad at all. Um, this dress was 21. The white floral dress was only 16. The romper was 22 and the maxi dress was 25. Not bad at all. I feel like my best bet here is to take everything out and just reorganize it. Darn it, best of use by March 2023. <laughs> Flower that expired in November 2021. <laughs> Alrighty, this is where we're at. I just got rid of all of the expired food. Just this little box of stuff and that thing of um, flour and then everything else. Actually, over here I want to go through and just, I don't know, I feel like mason jars could go into like different storage and stuff. Just lots of jars and cups over here that aren't really used. And then I guess like those mugs, I'll have to add those to the uh, donate pile. But now I got to figure out how I want to organize everything. Also, I need to stop buying pasta sauces. <laughs> uh, I bought another one today, not realizing how many I had. I need to make pasta for lunch more often or something. The Rouse is my favorite. I have a couple marinaras, which is more so for like 
the hopes of making pizza that never happened. Okay, we're looking a lot better in here. I know it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, I have like a little cardboard box with some of our like less used coffee stuff. I like, I mean, this works. I was gonna say I'd like to get a cuter little box for this, but this totally works for now. Just like a travel hand crank grinder, a couple different pour over things, like a coffee bean container, to go cup mason jar, extra filters for the uh, French press, and then I have like my extra storage things down here, a couple Yetis are like back there, one more right here, and then up here we have like sauces, franks, a couple different teriyakis over there, peanut butter and jam, my oils, and then all of my like canned kind of items over here, and jarred pasta. Oh, and a couple boxed things over here. Not too bad. Looking a lot better. All right, I'm doing the dishes and I wanted to just show you all. So you can see on the dish, it gets those like brown spots on the edges of the pans. Normal dish soap and scrubbing usually doesn't get rid of that, but if you mix baking soda with water and make like a thick paste or just like sprinkle baking soda on here and use like a wet scrubby or something, it usually gets those spots out. So let's try it together. Oh, that's all right. I'm gonna fall down to the bottom and we'll use it. I'm gonna use this scrubby on it instead of just like a normal sponge. got that spot pretty much fully off. It's like a little bit on the edge there. That might just be like a scratch in it. And then usually after I use the baking soda, I like to do another quick little wash with dish soap. Our visitor is here. So little. And he's probably gonna sleep the entire hour. Hello, I have a little birthday dinner with my family in a couple of hours. I'm starving though, so I think I'm gonna make myself a snack to hold me over till then. Maybe like a little cucumber salad with the groceries we got yesterday. And then I'm gonna make that simple syrup. And then we gotta finish off this vlog because I'm gonna have to stay up all night editing it. But you're gonna be watching this on my birthday. That's so funny. Tomorrow's my birthday, you'll be watching this then. I think so. This is the dress that I had gotten from Target possibly in the last vlog, if not two vlogs ago. And on the 4th, I wore it with a Budweiser tee over it and then just like tied it up to be kind of cropped. And it looks so cute. So I might do that again. Because I do, I got a little, it doesn't seem like it, but it, it's very easy to have nip slips in this <laughs> dress. So I feel like I feel more comfortable wearing it out that way. We're gonna do a blueberry strawberry mix this time. Whoa, these blueberries are huge! Those are freaking huge! Mm. That might be the best blueberry I've ever had. I are you just hungry or are these the best blueberries I've ever had in my entire life? Two cups of berry, one cup of water, one cup of sugar. <laughs> you guys see that? I'm looking muted. All right, let's turn this on. Oh, I should have bought more sugar at the grocery store. So someone in my last video said the reason it got a little more of a jelly consistency was because of adding lemon. I'll probably still add a little like squeeze of lemon this time, but not as much as last time. Alright, so we gotta do four of these because we need a full cup. Oh my god, this looks so cute. Oh, it's gonna be like a little summer simmer. Oh, we got a sticker. Lots of cucumber, but that's okay. That's how I like it. I'll do a little bit of lemon. And some balsamic. All right, let's throw a little pesto in there too. 
cucumber, tomato, mozzarella. Mmm. Oh my god. I know it's literally just vegetables, but. All right, I just turned off the heat. So I'm gonna let it cool down for a little bit and then we'll transfer it. I actually bought reusable cheesecloth just to try and get more of like the seeds and like fruit debris, if you will, out of it. So I think I'm gonna try using that. I'll like run it through the strainer first to get the big chunks out and then we'll try the cheesecloth. Just did some light makeup before dinner. Oh, it's probably gonna splash. I feel like this is gonna splash worse than the first one, so let's do this. I mean, my dress is red anyways, but still. It's gonna be warm though. Ooh, it's hot. I almost forgot when I ordered the cheesecloth, I also ordered these little funnel thingies so this should make this a lot easier nice I'm gonna use my cute cup from Brennan's sister's bachelorette I'm just gonna throw a little bit in there also I'm curious how well it did with sifting out all of the debris I don't have any cold ones, but I'm going to add the lemon spin drift. doesn't matter. There's ice in there. Now we'll be able to tell if there's any seeds or anything in there. I don't really see anything. Oh, that makes me so happy. Amazing. All right, I'm going to end this vlog off here. Next time you see me, I will be 31. <laughs> um, follow my other socials if you're not already. I'm Sasha Hippie on Instagram. I'm always posting to my stories. And I will see you next Monday with another video. Bye, friends.